Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Elise, like, subscribe, you know what to do. I am listening to you guys. My Kmart uh, refresh, bathroom refresh I did for under $200 has gone nuts on my channel, so I've been to Kmart again. I spent $275 on clothes I don't need, and I'm gonna show them all to you. There are some things that I love, um, and there's some things that I just don't vibe um, that I picked up that I thought I'd try. One of them being this little green cardigan. It just has a tie up at the front. Um, it was $20 and I looked at it and I thought it was quite small and I sized up and up and up to a 16 and it's still just, uh, yeah, it's not a great fit, but pretty much everything else I've loved. Um, so I popped it on with jeans I already have, shoes I already have um, and paired some of it together just to show you, yeah, give you some inspo for winter from Kmart. So let's get to it, I guess. Actually, before we get to it, I'm going to apologize because I've never done a close, film to close try on before. This is my first time. Um, and if you get seasick from the footage, I'm so sorry. First up, we've got their pink version of the boyfriend shirt. It does have the contrasting stripes. I popped it with some gold hoops, uh, pull and bear jeans from ASOS and my Elias Mays. Alias Mays, Elias Mays sandals. Um, really nice fit. It's super big and baggy, which I love. Um, and super comfortable it is a thin material though so yeah, as you can see you can see my jeans through it so if it was um, a little bit cooler you would definitely need to pack you know pop a pop a little jacket on with it but I just think it's such a cute it's such a cute color like it's a really really nice kind of pink anyway I bought it in another colorway as well um, which I'll pop up now and show you but this one if I didn't say already is online and in store for $25 so I'll put the other color so on. This is the other color. So that kind of like half beige, half blue, um, again with the contrasting pocket um, and contrasting sleeve on the side. I did size up, so I'm a size 12. I grabbed a size 14 just because I do like it to look really oversized if I'm gonna do this style. Again, it is quite thin. Um, so I would say that it's kind of like a, you know, it's definitely an autumn kind of shirt um, here on the Gold Coast rather than when it definitely cools down but it's cute it's cute I think I prefer the pink um, I think that the pink looks a little bit of a better quality I think the way that it's cut maybe but I just wanted to grab this one as well because I thought it is like a nice color contrast and that one is also $25 what I bought this because this is really on trend at the moment isn't it this kind of like tiled knitwear um, and I actually really like this a lot more than I thought I would. I've just paired it with some oversized platform um, black sandals from Solsana. Um, kept the hoops on. Um, it's so soft. It's $25. It is so unbelievably soft. It's so cozy. It would definitely be warm. Um, I really like, I'm actually probably going to keep this just to to wear around these jeans. Again, it's just the pull and bear jeans that I had on before, but I think that's really cute. Who gets a cardigan for $25? For all my UK girls, that's like 13 pounds. Probably less, probably 11. It's fun. I like it. All right, next one. <laughs> this top, this top was $15, $15. I've just paired it, same jeans again. I've popped my Gucci belt on with it, Solsana sandals. <laughs> $15. It's got um, like a high neck and a little bit of um, over stitching in the sleeve. Sorry, I just am showing you the camera. In hindsight, I sized up again in this. I got a 14, I would definitely get a 12. Um, it's definitely um, true to size. But how cute is this? Just cash with some black sandals. I really think that's quite cool. Definitely flattering. Or maybe I would keep the same size, so I've got kind of that give to give me a little bit of a overlap over the top of my jeans. Do you know what I mean? $15. It's cute. 
while I've got this on, I thought this was the most expensive thing that I bought. Um, and it's, oh, hang on a minute. Let me just buckle that up. Right, and it is um, wind repellent. No, windproof and water repellent. Um, so not a rain jacket as such, but definitely it's that like smooth, um, I don't know, like it, if you know the company Rains, um, we've got a couple of their backpacks and I've had one of their kind of like coats before. It's that same kind of texture where you know water's just going to slip off. But if you were out in like a storm, it would definitely start to seep through eventually. Um, but yeah, it's got all the hardware is the same shade as the jacket. Um, it was $35 and I think the color, nice big pockets. I think the color is... Really lovely. I might try it on with something black. I actually like it even more when it's done up. Um, it's got a nice high collar, so that would, yeah, definitely go up to kind of like protect you. Like I said, hood on it. Um, $35, that is so perfect just for walking the dog early in the morning when you want something that's kind of like warm but not gonna like be overheat you. The only thing I would say is it's a shame that it doesn't have, and obviously you're not, you're not gonna get this for $35, I'm aware, but it would be nice if it had a um, drawstring, you know, at the back so that you could, oh, hang on. <laughs> it's my first time doing a clothes try on. Here's the wall. Um, but it would be nice if it have some kind of like drawstring detail here, just so that you could make it, I don't know, fit a little bit better. Um, or like flatter you a little bit more, but of course, like $35, you're not gonna get that. I really like that. It is a really, really nice green as well. It's kind of like a, a matte kind of khaki. Um, lovely collar detail, but then again, you know, it's kind of, it looks like it's worth more than $35, but I'm not gonna say it looks expensive. So the next thing I bought is this white um, bodysuit and I just put it on with the same jeans and a pair of Lacoste plim soles. Um, I did size up in the white and stayed true to size in the black because when I wear fitted white clothing, I do like a little bit more movement around my curves. Um, but I really like that and I'll show you, I bought a shacket to pop on with it so I'll show you what that looks like. So I bought it to go with this um, little shacket shirt jacket that's what they call them isn't it um and the reason that i yeah i bought a white one in particular because i think you need white with this white detailing um but this is actually a lot lighter even than a flannelette shirt um so i think it's definitely with a little something underneath it um just a cute look but i think that it is a really really nice brown um kind of beige color pink and white maybe i'm having a pink moment because i really like that pink and white um, oversized shirt as well but I actually think that that is just such a cute casual run around outfit I think this would also look really cool um, with like white converse white chucks like high converse um, just kind of like no ankle and just yeah converse going all the way up into the jean I think that would also look really cool maybe I'll pop that on because I have them yeah I'll pop that on and I'll show you I actually might prefer this even with the high tops rather than the plimsolls but I think you can do both um, it looks quite cool just with converse tucked in my little mum belly yeah I think it does actually with the shacket it does actually look really cool with like the high top converse that is just such an easy easy look um, super cash and super comfortable I've even got my mum bun on to go with it <laughs> I went out for coffee this morning with a friend and I was like yep that is just go and sleek it's got a litre of hairspray in it the bun is happening. Um, that's so cute, isn't it? I think too, you could, hang on, I wanna show you one other way. So yeah, just over your shoulders, um, just even without your arms through, just kind of like over your shoulders, I think is really cute too. I bet you thought I was gonna tie it around my waist. Not here, guys, not here. Cute. Right, so this is $25 and this um, bodysuit is 10 and they've got it in black and white. So, love that. Next outfit, let's go. Okay, so I did grab this other bodysuit they've got, which is long sleeves black and doesn't have the button, dealing, uh, button detail, but it does have some ruching there. Um, I sized up in this one because I thought it looked a little bit small and also with the ruching, I wanted some space around um, my top section, but I mean, it's still 
oh, it's not very comfortable um, and I don't think it's particularly flattering this one's $15 um, maybe if you had a little bit less bust I think it would look um, really cool but I think the buttons yeah the ones with the buttons detailing are just a slightly this is like um, that seam kind of material um, I think the one with the buttons just fit a little bit better but I'll show you this I wanted to put something black on sorry I'm speaking from behind my camera I wanted to put something black on with the um, rain Mac so I'll pop that on now and I'll show you what that looks like rain Mac with I think it does look nicer with black doesn't it um, or the wind it's wind and rain but yeah I think that is it is actually really cute hello Rosie you making a cameo hello <laughs> But yeah, perfect for, oh, just in time, perfect for dog walking. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the next look I've put on is one of their track suits. You buy these in separates um, and I've gone for this beautiful, it is a really pretty gray um, with this green and blue detailing. We all know this blue is like having a moment and so are cargo pants. And this is a cargo pants style track suit. I love a tracksuit co-ord that I can just pop on with trainers and go out and about in but these don't have a drawstring on the pants which I think is lacking because you can't kind of really make them fit and I just don't think it could be the style it could be because they're not like a regular kind of tracksuit pant but I just don't think that these pants are flattering the oversized tracksuit is hoodie is nice um, did I say already that the bottoms are 20 and the top is 25? But what I will say, and this might be the mum in me coming out, they are kind of like a, f a soft lining inside, which tells me they're gonna be an absolute pain in the washing machine. Okay, so the final thing I am trying on for you today is this mustard and cream dress. Um, it is a nice thick wool. I've, paired it, I've just popped it on with some leggings and some knee-high boots for my first look. I love, a woolen dress and it's just a straight cut there's no kind of like hugging 20 curves it's straight up and down um, but I'll style it with like I said I've got knee highs on with it at the moment I'm gonna style it with a different pair of boots just to show you I think that it can look a little bit different um, but I like it it's very soft it's very comfortable it's something that would be really easy just to pop on I'm not sure well for me anyway that it's gonna get cold enough here on the Gold Coast to keep something like this but I thought I saw it and I grabbed it just because, yeah, this is something that I would really love to wear if it was a little bit colder somewhere. Or if I was somewhere a little bit colder, rather. <laughs> One second, I'll pop a different pair of boots on with it. Okay, so this is it styled with a chunkier kind of like military style boot um, and just some black leggings. But I think that works really well as well as the knee highs. I mean, they're just so... They're just so easy to wear, aren't they? Like if you're if somewhere cooler, you've just got, you know, you've got your tights or stockings and you've just got your black boots and then you can just buy a variety of like dresses to pop on with it. And they're so nice to, I mean, I used to love wearing this to work in the UK. But yeah, that is that style with a pair of chunky militaries. 